A new school year is upon us, so what's the plan? It's been five months since students have been inside of an actual classroom. So will students attend school on campus or at home? Maybe both. That is where we begin tonight. Ector County ISD moving forward with their plan for the fall. Students will have the option to attend class on campus, but going to a campus every day is not going to be possible for all students. Here's what Superintendent Dr. Scott Murray presented to the school board tonight. Pre-K through junior high students will have the option of all face-to-face -face learning, virtual classes, or a hybrid model, meaning both virtual and in-person classes. High school students, it's going to look different. They have a choice between all virtual classes or a hybrid model. Dr. Mary says there's really not going to be a full week of in-person classes for high school because of the amount of students and lack of space. It's just not possible. If you decide that your student would rather a different option for learning, you will be able to change it after a grading period is over. And high school students, I hate to tell you this, you can't leave campus for lunch this semester. Now for students who do attend class on campus, what's that going to look like? Well, for most, a mask is required. Here's how that will look. Pre-K through third grade students, they're not required to wear a mask in class. If they are moving throughout the building, a mask is going to be required. Fourth grade and up are required to wear one inside the classroom, except when they're eating or doing outdoor activities. All students must wear a mask while riding the bus. Now tomorrow night, the district is hosting a Facebook Live. I know a lot of you are going to have so many questions for this school year. Dr. Mary is going to go over that plan, and you'll have the uh, option to join in and ask questions about reopening. That starts at 7 p.m. on the Ector County ISD Facebook page.